Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free now. Go. Run! Run! Morning! What? Oh, I mean... Good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right?
By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite Siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also, where they go. And also, what happens to them? Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh yeah, that's definitely how that works, so... All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button? On the side? Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. Huh. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. Had Adanu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight?
And would a clearer-headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? shard because you're the only person who knows where it is. to have the Iridium Ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. Why would I keep Iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? Uh, no. Trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Oh, got you. <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Maybe. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Like a siren song? It's the sound of a successful invention. One that finally gets us out of trouble with Restrong Fork. One that changes the world. Just picture it, Fong. We are on the cusp of a world with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter of course. Like, like, Oh, you know. I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA, Atlas's motto. <sighs> no cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! Right. Anyway, 
Are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongforth to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time! All right, it was me. You caught me. I did it. I let the Jabbers go. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. This is nice. Well, now that we've got that straightened out... Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see... The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh... What is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait. Better not go empty handed. Good luck. Octavio. Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them! Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Ray done. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say. Free! <laughs> you such a mooch. I'll see you there. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Stop <laughs> looming, Louis. You're always looming in places. I am not looming. I am simply standing. No, this, this, what you're doing right here, this is definitely looming. Notice my body posture, imposing presence. If you say so. I acquired the publication you requested. Come on, come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. 
It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavia Wallace Star exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! and ratch ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right, all right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malabar space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yellow rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. Your Yellow rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Morning. Do not think about your 
malfunctioning Teteor appliances, for which you still owe the Teteor Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Do not think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Teteor, and thus cannot be sold. I am an artiste, sponsor bot. In my hands, even the lousiest tool can be turned into... Ah! Ratch piss! Calm down, woman. Woman, calm down. Do not tell me to... Thanks for checking in, sponsor bot. Congratulations! You are now calm. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. <clears throat> We're not open yet. And... Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger. So long as I've got some caffeine in me. How could they deny my claim? Look at this place. I'm sure you're right. All insurance workers are compassionate, honorable people. Well, the claims fella gives me any lip. He'll find out how persuasive I can be. What a disturbing euphemism. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outie. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Ha. Uh... A large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Oh. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. 
One that could help Atlas beat the competition. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Timmy, tell Dr. Dar I'll see her now. Dr. Dar? Hello, sir. Uh, Mr. Strongfork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra-rare Zero Vault Landers figurine. Again. It's an investment, you know, you know, you know what, forget it, ne ne never, never mind, just, just, come on in, have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of, you keep releasing jabbers on the ship, again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir? I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did. You cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion-powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore! If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. With power like this, we can save the world. Which one? All of them. Now that's a lot of markets to have shares of. Okay, decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired, yet. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game-changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time... Now? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't... It hasn't... It's in progress, and... It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. It's an energy manipulator, designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase-walk gun? It's a phase-walk device. A phaser. A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non? Lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you, from my disposal, to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. 
Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death! Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me, or put it on the desk, and leave my office! Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. <sighs> I am waiting to be deeply... Deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... Bring it back! Uh... Bring Sasha and Tiny Reese back! Uh... That was a custom figure. And the only picture of Sasha that I have... ...had. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back! There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... gone? Maybe I can ask Fiona. Maybe I can find Fiona. Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongford! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... <laughs> Susan, how'd they hang in? <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better then. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my targets until they say their full name out loud and I am able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, this ain't my first rodeo. 
What is a rodeo? Oh, it's when like ranchers ride bucking. You know what? Never mind. Very well. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Well, I mean, did the skag do something to deserve getting kicked? Leaving the victim, Octavia. For shame. For shame. It's not that. Maybe it was self-defense. I said, for shame. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? Oh, ready to be your minion. Very well. We will proceed then. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, I guess he deserves it. Let's go. and I'm here to inform you that you are a mega winner. Huh? I didn't enter any sweepstakes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll have to deliver this oversized novelty check to somebody else. Hey, where's the nearest oversized novelty bank? Wait. I, uh, I just remembered. I did enter that sweepstakes. I'll be right down. Well, I must admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. Oh, dang. I forgot it in the car. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, but before I go, can you confirm your full name for me? Yeah, it's Jameson Harwin. Now get moving! You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. Jameson Harwin, we hardly knew you, but you did seem like a real bastard. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavia. Ooh, cash money. Make it rain! I'm meeting the crew Paco's. You in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce. And that's how Papa Jordy makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larsen. I'm trying. I listen to my sister. Of the two of us, Anu is the... Smart, responsible one. Yeah. How did you know? Because you are certainly the impulsive, irresponsible one. And you have wonderful people skills. Oh, 
Octavio. Hi. Louis, let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle. A real thief and definitely not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank? What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth of problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. 90 days clean. You play your cards right, and we both might live to see 91! Now maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead! Either way... Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. Here goes nothing. Get the hell out of my shot! Oh, she's angry! It's been years since I fought a geriatric. Last words go five out of ten. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh no! Is that blood? Am I bleeding? I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far. Thank 
Thanks for coming by. Calories per half cup, 400. 25 grams of fat, 41 grams of carbohydrates, 38 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. Congratulations, you are now calm. Fudging hell. Be right with you, dear. What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. <sighs> What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. An invasion by a rival weapons manufacturer. And I'm fired. And it's not even lunch. On the upside, the vet sent an echo. Your pet fish is doing great. Oh. Wait. I misread. It's, uh, dead. Sorry. It's okay. The words look similar. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now and it is hostile. Like very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> you felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongford. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Could I get a cocktail? during a hostile takeover. Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. You smell like guilt and shame. Can your mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. Oh, it's frowning! <laughs> 
We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um... He's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's usually able to handle himself, but he's... Well, he's sort of a small-time hustler. Wow. He gets into the middle of everything. Armed TDO guards are exactly the type of threat he'd mouth off to and then be executed by. Well, that paints a picture. Oh, God. Let him be doing something quietly indoors for a change. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is covered every wound. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! get into a launch pod without being noticed. By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this from me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong. Thanks again. Right. So, I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question, though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming.
destination. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No, this is my Echodex 4520, Parabolic Homing Origin Netwave Emitter, also known as Pahone. What does a Pahone do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had a jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet, I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeeper, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. engineering schematics I feel like I'm looking at him naked you are <clears throat> hmm Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. What the hell, man? Hey! Careful, man! They haven't eaten yet and you uh, have... Uh, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. They look cozy. Very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming.
Dude spots so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. Get over here, man. I need your help. Mm, with the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. Mm, mm. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ratch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the ratch, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago. Then Raiden scared it off with its usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free taco. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Wretches are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey! Can I like you, fool? You sure I can't get you a taco? No. Yo! Rick! Dude, I, okay, okay! I get it. Juniper! You in there, girl? That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? Hey, guys and gals. Wouldn't happen to know where Juniper ran off to, would you? Careful, man. You gotta be an alpha to earn their respect. And while you... Whatever! I'm an alpha. And this alpha is gonna go look for Juniper somewhere else. Octavio, 
Why are you calling me? We are in the same place. Yeah, but I'm on business. This is a business call. Ugh. What do you want? <sighs> Pakalas Juniper. Wanna help me find her? There's half a taco in it for you. No. But, fine. For the record, I'd help you for a taco. If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. Hate to disturb a business call, but... Hold it, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't. But you get to explode things. And Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. Thanks, Radon. Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. One juniper, as promised. Oh, how the cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ox. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the jail broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you find Vaultlanders. Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. Then just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale. This is one sweet executable. The city of Hermira has been spotted in the skies above Meridian City. We are being invaded. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a TDR invasion. That does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. Oh, come on! Not another war! We're still picking up the pieces from the last one. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. 
I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact friend. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that your business mantra? And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? one of those silly little vault landers toys. How kitschy. Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jap. Oh, you're one of those. on the house.
complete with a cherry on top. For some reason, that tasted like a nose. When you think about it, everything tastes like a nose. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? Oh my god, can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. I said, open the door. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first, but now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. Just to prove the skag blasting claim. In that case, congratulations. You're stuck with this dung heap for the foreseeable future. Francine Miskowitz, consider your claim denied. Great talking with you, hun. Must approach this with level heads. Everybody take cover! Right. I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. <laughs> hide! Screw that! Take down that Tidio commander! 
Confirm the corner friend for backup. Danielle, I need a favor. Must be Wednesday. Got a TDR commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we. What if I really need I'm taking the train wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! How could that have stolen? I find whoever did this, I'll shoot them! Really up! More of an intelligence to kill! Let me out! That regrettably mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. This weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like you're poor! You're obviously an intelligent special weapon. You've got a mind of your own. Live your own life! You don't have to be a corporate tool for these TDR drones! You know the difference between you and me, you fat-fingered moron? I know I'm a tool, and I'm damn proud of it! Fat-fingered? Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDR comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. This ought to distract him. Fine! Well, he definitely won't notice us now. Let's move. need to get him out of the way. Maybe he'll take cover if I... No! I didn't mean... That guard has been Octavian. Why is our new system explosive? Read on, you idiot! so much. Bang! I did that for me, not you. Got it? Fight my fan! You're a trusty sidearm, mister. Brock! Just Brock! And you're so lucky you get to manhandle my handle. Okay, less talky, more shooty. Seems extremely personal. All right, enough of this. I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation. 
you about terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. Don't shoot. Your feedback is valuable to TDOR. I will now de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. My friends all call me. You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to friends to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill calm woman. so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> so pleased to meet you. I'm... Eat my egg. Ah. Spin the D! Excuse me. Ah. Mistake! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I misread the situation. When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The Five Fathers! <laughs> yeah. Got it. What do we do? Run! <laughs> You say so? What? No! Never mind. Just toss it here. Got it. Hands and eyes coordinated! You are super stressed. I think you could use a vacation. Siren? Scientist. Again! Again! Girl, pretty kill. I'm not a killer. I'm just sending them on a little trip. Oh, <laughs> 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 
My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! In what way exactly am I a hero? I just killed someone. Doesn't that make me a murderer? Potatoes, potatoes! You mean potato, potato? Potatoes! No! To staple face, you! Our hero girl! Who's staple face? Oh, right. Of course. Today was staple face's death day! Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts! Thought about becoming not psycho! Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day! Ah, got it, I think. But Anu helped. No more death day! Reborn day! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day to me! I am... I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. Thank you with my body. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, staple face, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection!
I'm back by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Hiya. Assassin? Correct. It's not what you think. But you're okay? The Tedior Invasion Force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another Corp Invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The Killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? Refuse to give out free Frogart. I thought you were in recovery! Yeah. Me too. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh... Franz Frogerts. Oh. Was it the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. So you came here? I, I just... It seemed like the safest place. Safe for who? You realize the position this puts me in? Look. I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Clean this mess up, will ya? Of course, not a problem. I just... Thank you. I owe you one. Try 73. You've been keeping count? Don't make... No. The boy in the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? What boy? That boy. Ah, him. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needed to succeed. Had you gone over a personal development plan with him? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what, you better get a kill shot because bullet wounds make me real angry. Firing! You are about to execute a TDO licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? For Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the 
Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, but she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns won't fire, and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt sand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. Hold on a second. We're both business women. We can work this out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good.
destroyed everything. Bouncing banana blast. <gasps> what have they done to you? Louis? Lou, where are you? Come on, pal, you better just be looming somewhere like you always do. Lou! Make a bad joke if you hear me. How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. What the hell? Did you just stay there on your knees doing nothing? Did you just, like, not try to avoid the blast at all? There was no need, Octavia. I am built to withstand far greater shocks than the demolition of an already half-demolished Froggart shop. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. It's getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's gonna in the I hut? was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going and you nearly got blown up and... Oh. You're making fun of me. Listen, I know things between us haven't been... Ooh, friendly, loving, respectful, existent, ideal. But can we please at least talk about this, not in the epicenter of an invasion? Putting aside her ego and ambition to look out for her little brother. Classic, Anu. That totally tracks with you ditching me here, by the way. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say... You look like hell. You look like you rolled through a rat's nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah, those days happen here. Look, I get it. You don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel so 
super weird about it, bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet, on another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Damn, Anu, you're a nice cold killer now. Shut up! Murder, murder. If you don't shut it, I'll murder you! It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your bro has killed tons of haters in his day. It's all part of playing the business game. I'm not interested in whatever your business is, and I'm certainly not playing anyone's game. When you think about it, Killing is just being born in reverse. You could use a treat. Cuckoo coconut. The last flavor to survive the attack. Anu, this is Fran. She's taken care of me ever since you, well, left. Fran, this is Anu. My sister who was smart enough to get a job off planet. It's nice to meet you. And thank you, I love ice cream. Frozen yogurt. Oh. What's wrong with frozen yogurt? Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing wrong with frozen yogurt. Charging complete. As is, I sense you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu. My sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, mellow on TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you are hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jabbers. Well, oh, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right, you're okay with me, for now. <laughs> thank, thank me, I, I mean you, I mean, thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu, you know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me, it never happened. Great, that's, that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it, it's empty. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes, do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. 
point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like a radio. TDR comm. Octavio's pocket. Fred! A, a TDR comms device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh... Stole it. Fan! Octavio! Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off the man at Daiquiri's. Well, let's hope Command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, wherever that is. Yeah, that's a Daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A Doomsday device? I think, and... They think there was a vault key being kept on the station, at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives! No. No! No, no, no! It's not worth it! TDR has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs! We will be killed by all the guns! Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world. To prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like TDR from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that's, that, that, that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is gonna be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was gonna say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I gotta run, cuz, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're gonna... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDR has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratch's ass about Atlas or TDR. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? Boop, boop. Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know that most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is TDR. She's the CEO, the big cheese. And we steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under TDR's nose. You sock a wall up to TDR, translate a property, you sock a wall up to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. 
You always know how to weasel someone with words. Lovable weasel? Eh. All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero You Won Three makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan! And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? Yeah, something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TDR's heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The light grow really supports my delicate stick. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. 
Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! Secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we talk about something we definitely won't see? Got it. Baco! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDO troops. How do you know that? I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever would he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Right. Weapons and equipment, no OSP. What? On-site procurement. Military stealth lingo. Uh, you made that up. Go in dark. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody swats us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you ready. I don't love unnecessary violence, but it does seem like Fran knows what she's doing. Yeah, of course. Totally understand. All right. Get behind me, and stay light on your feet, in case you gotta dodge any people juice. Ah! Okay. This is... okay. This... okay. Going, we'd better follow. Oh, crap. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. 
Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. So weird. Guy in a box. No! Wait, wait, wait! Just let me... Uh, I'm not who you're looking for. I disagree. Is, is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior's code. But if I win, your Vaultlander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come back! Select your ball lander. Fall. Fall versus Zane. your combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Right now, they're more vulnerable than we are. We should keep it that way. So let them get closer and closer to the vault because... 
Because Tidior may not be the worst thing lurking around here, and whoever has the vault key is going to be the primary target. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer? We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. Now, let's go. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we're done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. I know this is stupid. I know, but this... You know how long I've spent trying to put something, anything, together? I've been waiting for a chance like this, and if I don't take it, there might not be another. You might get killed. I was dying slow before you got here. Lee's getting killed by a space guard would be a step up. You're such an idiot! I told you, I know that. Well, I came here to help, so tell me how to help. Wait! 
I got it. What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches. They're tunnelers. They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes. That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? I wouldn't. Not... I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. R right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. And should be here. Fran! <gasps> oh! Miss me? Anyway, look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? 
Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Come on, sis. That thing looks like my Auntie Beth. Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinny and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? You know what? Don't overthink it, Anu. Now, what else can I find? Really use a taco. Friendly reminder more of those. Better translate this treasure circle. Guys, I think we hit the jackpot. We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure! <laughs> Garbage shower? Damn the brakes! Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them. I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavia sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit!
plan. Running is always a good plan. Too late for that, sweetheart. Juniper, get back here! Hey! Pick on somebody my size, jackass! Get out of here, girl! Go! Hey! Well, we're not a bad team! Yeah! We'll take the pair! <laughs> I was including Octavio! Hey! Thanks! I uh, suggest we split up! It can't get all of us! attractive loser. That's right. You hear that, Susan Caldwell? You're next. You come after me, you gon' get God. Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy! I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. Wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be all right. Stop! Don't jinx it. Don't be superstitious. If it's truly dead, what could possibly go wrong? Stop with the jinxing! What in the what? green thingy it's got in its tongue. I don't think it's in its tongue. I think he's cradling it with its tongue, sort of protecting it. I mean, I respect it. That's some next level's tongue work. That's 
gross. And besides the point, I think it's healing him. We need to get it out of that monster's mouth. I... I have a plan. Ew, I was worried we were all gonna die. Now we're gonna die with a plan! Mm, that's nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. And the big plan is... <gasps> you want me to see if I can romance it, right? Fran, you need to freeze that monster's tongue before it kills Octavia. Sounds good. Wait, what? You're the quickest, loudest one here. You need to occupy that thing so Fran can freeze the tongue and punch the shard loose. And what's your role in this genius plan? Relax and eat bonbons? I'll be delivering the coup de gras. You're gonna make a soup? I'll send the shardless monster on vacation. Ideally, to a dimension where it can't kill us. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! I wish I heard more tacos! Hey! Hey! Hey, monster! You ever eat a taco? I have! They're delicious! You're alive, but you need to leave. Where is friend? In position. Great. Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it. That thing nearly ate me alive. Yes, great. Now I need you to get almost eaten again. <sighs> kind of scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! <sighs> hey, ugly! Looking for me? <laughs> I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. from this thing now. Ooh. Oh, Anu, hi! I have so much to tell you about! Daddy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What do you... <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Mm. 
sure they get to cheerlead while I run for my life. <laughs> Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now. Don't make me get scared now, Octavio! Oh, what we doing? That's right, keep running! Did someone order a vault monster? Well done! Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. Enjoy your trip into the unknown. Happy trails. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I... Don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, we gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. Right? That was... So we're like Vault Hunters now! We're a triple-digit body count short of being actual Vault Hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to... defeat a space god! Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint! I think this crystal is the Vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just... When I touched it, I... saw something. It felt something? Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something? Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Coldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we got all the leverage. 
Then we're just getting to the hard part. So, they chase us, we outrun them. This isn't just gonna be a chase, handsome. We impacted their bottom line something fierce. They find out it was us, they're going to war. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond forts in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Found something. Hmm. Huh.